In this problem, we're told a 65 kilogram runner has a speed of 5.2 meters per second at one instant during a long distance event. A, what is the runner's kinetic energy at this instant? And B, how much network is required to double his speed? So I went ahead and drew, so we have this runner, the mass is 65 kilograms, they're moving at 5.2 meters per second. And so for A, what we're trying to do, right, is solve for the kinetic energy at this instant. So the formula for kinetic energy, right, Ke, is just one half mv squared. So what you can do is just plug in the mass, plug in their velocity at that instant, and then you can just go ahead and solve for k, right? So the kinetic energy, if we just plug it in, right, it's going to be one half times the mass. And when you do this, you need to make sure your mass is in kilograms, velocity is in meters per second. And in this problem it is, but just make sure you do that for other ones. So 65, multiply that by the velocity, which is 5.2, right? So 5.2 squared, so just do 0.5 times 65, multiply it by 5.2, and then square it. So when you go ahead and do that, you're going to get 878.8. And then the units that we use to measure kinetic energy when you use kilograms in meters per second is joules. So 878.8 joules, you can round however you want, right? So just make sure you do what your teacher does. I'm just going to round to 879 just to make it whole. So 879 joules, or if you want to round however. So this is your answer to A. Now let's do B. So what is B asking us for? B says, how much network is required to double his speed? So we're trying to solve for the network, right? So work required, right? So we need to know that work is equal to the change in kinetic energy, okay? And so what is kinetic energy equal to? Well, we know kinetic energy equals one half mv squared, right? But what do we want? We want to know how much is of the work is required to double his speed, right? So if we want to double the speed, right, you can just write it as one half mv or m times 2v squared, right? So this is how you can write it, okay? And so what you should know is if we square this, right, just square it out, 1 half m times 2 squared is 4 times v squared, right? And so if you pull out the 4, right, because what is 1 half mv squared, right? And we're multiplying by 4. Well, that's just the kinetic energy. So 4 times the kinetic energy is essentially, right, 4 times the kinetic energy is what we're going to need if we want to double it, right? Because this is, we plugged in a 2 to double the velocity. So 4 times the kinetic energy is going to be uh, what we need, to, or the work needs to be equal to, right? So if we want to double the speed, we have to multiply the kinetic energy by 4, right? So basically by a factor of 4, right? You have to multiply the work by a factor of 4 if you want to be able to uh, double your speed, right? So I guess you would say uh, if we want to double the speed, right? So the amount of work is just... So multiply the work by a factor of four, or just like factor of four, the work, right? So that's essentially going to be your answer to B, right? So four times the work is going to double your speed, essentially. But yeah, so uh, that's going to be your answer to B, right? What I just said. So I guess by a factor of four. So factor of four, this right here is going to be your answer to B. Uh, this was your answer to A. And so yeah, hopefully you found this useful.